Hey all dear students, welcome to the Quantum Guru. In this video, I want to derive an expression for the electric field due to a uniformly charged infinite parabolic wire at its focus. So, as you can see, I have a parabolic wire. The equation of the parabola is the standard form that is the y square is a 4 ax and the linear charge density of the parabola is lambda and I want to find the electric field at its focus uh, whose coordinates are a comma 0. So, symmetry of the problem is saying that electric field has to be along the positive x direction because if I take two symmetrically points uh, with respect to x, suppose if I take one point here, one point here because of this point electric field will be like this and because of this point electric field will be like that also resultant electric field will be along the positive x direction. So, that is one thing is very apparent that the electric field has to be along positive x direction. Now, to go ahead, I want to find the polar form of the equation of the parabola. This is the Cartesian form of the equation of parabola. I want to derive expression for the polar form first. Uh, before that, uh, we need to uh, recall that what is the directrix of the parabola. This is the directrix. What is directrix? Let me explain. Directrix has first of all equation y is equal to minus f. If I ask you what is uh, Definition of a circle, so you will say that circle is a locus of all points in a plane which are at a fixed distance from a fixed point called centre. So, same way if I ask you tell me what is the definition of a parabola. So, suppose uh, P x comma y is a general point on the parabola. So, the locus of all such points such that the distance of this point is same as distance from a line called directrix and distance from a fixed point focus. So, that is uh, the, the point satisfying this condition will all lie on a curve called the parabola. So, if this is the general, general point of the parabola, so distance of this point from the directrix and distance of this point from the focus should be same. And that ratio is actually called the eccentricity and for the parabola eccentricity is 1. So, uh, now I want to find the polar form of the equation of the parabola. For that polar form, I want to take a reference line and the origin. Origin I am taking at the focus itself and this is my reference line. So, uh, for the polar form, this is the reference line and uh, if this is a general point on the parabola so its coordinates are r comma theta r is the distance of any point r is the distance from any point from the origin so if i am here this is r this is r this is r this is r and theta this reference line is for the convenience of measuring a uh, angular position so angular position of a point are measured with this reference line in the, this sense i have shown so, for example, if I am here, just let me explain first about this polar coordinate. So, if I am here, like I am here, so at this point, uh, theta is 0, so the theta is 0, so and r is this, r is that thing because this distance is a. So, at this point, if I write the polar coordinates, so that will be uh, a comma 0. So, as I go from here, theta is increasing as I go from here theta increasing theta increasing theta increasing so theta is keeping on increasing and how much theta can increase because this distance is becoming uh, larger and larger so theta is also becoming larger and larger so as theta is going from 0 to pi r will go from a to infinite and that will be clear from the equation that I will derive and then I will uh, re-explain about this thing. So, coming back to the polar form. So, now if I uh, drop a, uh, if I make a distance of this point from the directrix like this. So, this distance, this is a x and this is a. So, this distance is x plus a and this distance should equal to this distance. So, r should be equal to x plus a. So, that is one thing. And now to find x in terms of the polar form. So, this is r. Uh, let me drop a perpendicular from this point to x axis. So, this and this angle is this angle is uh, 180 minus theta. So, if I ask you what is this length, this length is r cos 180 minus theta. 
and uh, this length is obviously a so this whole thing from here to here the coordinate is x x coordinate so this x is equal to a plus this is r cos 180 minus theta so that is x equal to a plus r cos 180 minus theta mean x equal to a minus r cos theta so put the value of x here so put the value of x here so we will get um, r is equal to uh, a minus r cos theta plus a so take this r cos theta on this side so we will get finally the equation of the parabola is equal to in the polar form r is equal to 2a 1 minus cos theta and once again if i put it theta is equal to 0 so we will get r is equal to uh, theta is equal to 0 mean cos theta is equal to 1 so r is equal to and that is this point so theta is measured from here if the theta is 0 mean i am here and if I am here, so distance of this point is A. And if I keep on increasing theta, so R will also increase, R will also increase. So as theta will go to pi, so R will become infinite. If I put theta is equal to pi, so that will be cos pi minus 1, so 2A divided by 0. And that will go to very large number infinite. So now that I have got the polar form of the equation of the parabola, so it will be very easy for me now to derive expression for the electric field. So let us go to the next page. So this was the situation here. This is the parabola and this is the polar form r is equal to 2a into 1 minus cos theta. And this is the general point on the parabola. Coordinates are r comma theta. So if I take some angular width of this, an element, I want to take an element on the wire. Uh, which is whose, which is at a distance r and the angular width is between theta to theta plus d theta uh, like this. So this d theta is very small so this can be thought of an arc of a circle so the length of this element will be uh, r d theta. So the charge on this element will be dq is equal to lambda times of the length that is r t theta. So this element will be treated as a point charge so because of this element the electric field at the focus will be in the radially away direction something like this so that electric field is d so uh, the expression for the electric field of this point charge so k into that charge dq divided by distance square so put the value of dq lambda r d theta so you will get k lambda lambda r d theta divided by r square one r will get cancelled and um, put the value of that r here so if you put the value of r here the 2a divided by 1 plus cos theta will get this thing now i explain that the the as we take all the elements from here to here the y components get cancelled only the x component will get added up so resultant electric field will be along the positive x direction so the component of this electric field a uh, little electric field de uh, along x axis dex and along y is not required so the vector sum of all the electric field is the summation of all such dex so dex is d cos theta and uh, d if i put the value of here and cos theta that will be k lambda by 2a 1 plus cos theta into cos theta d theta and now let's go to the next page so dx is equal to k lambda by 2a into 1 plus cos theta into cos theta d theta. Net electric field is the uh, summation of all such dx because dEy will get cancelled. So I can write uh, E net is equal to integration of dEx and put the dx here. So I will get this thing. Uh, k lambda by 2a will go outside the integration sign and then cos theta plus cos square theta d theta. And the limit of the theta will as I go from here to here that will cover the whole parabolic wire. This is the positive direction of theta. So if I here the theta will be negative. So as I go to uh, R to be very large number so theta will be pi. So if I go from here so theta will be minus pi come to here theta 0 and go to here theta will increase up to pi. So limit of theta will be minus pi to pi. pi. And this is a you know uh, even function so in the even function uh, we can take the integration for the half part and double the integration 
So like if I get the electric field because of this part and electric field because of this part, so both part will add up the electric field. So simply I can write the for the limit, I can just write 0 to pi and then double the integral. So that will be k lambda by 2a into twice and then limit uh, 0 to pi cos theta is cos theta. In place of cos square theta, you can write 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2. And now simple integration, just uh, evaluate the integration. Integration of cos theta is sin theta. For 1 by 2, integration will be theta by 2. And for cos 2 theta by 2, integration is sin 2 theta by 4. Put the limits. So, if, we, if I put the limit, so these part and these part will get cancelled. And if I put limit here, so that will be pi by 2. So, we will get k lambda into a into pi by 2. Now, you want to uh, make it simpler. Just write the k 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. And then I will get the required expression lambda upon 8 pi epsilon 8 epsilon naught a. So, finally, I have obtained expression for the electric field due to parabolic wire, which is along the parabola y square is equal to 4ax linear charge in C lambda. Electric field at the focus a comma 0 is lambda upon 8 epsilon naught a i cap, and that is the required expression. Thank you.